If you've been doing your research on locks, you are probably wondering what is the better choice between chain locks and U locks. It's an obvious question, but it's not a simple binary yes or no. There are reasons you might choose one over the other. There are several lenses through which you might look at locks to decide which is best for you, with the most obvious one being security. Given that thief stealing bikes takes a lot of forms, it can be easy to fall into a rabbit hole of never-ending research looking for the absolute most secure lock on the market. That's exactly what we did as we prepared to bring you a list of the best bike locks and the best e-bike locks available during that time, we leveraged every resource we had to bring you the best options available. Part of that was understanding what the most secure lock actually looked like. Chain Lock vs U-Lock Pros and Cons No matter what type of lock you go with, there is going to be a range of security options. Chain locks consist of hardened steel links that interlock to make up the link desired. Those links are one part of the security and the other part is the system used to lock the links together at the end. The other most common type of lock consists of a solid steel bar that curves into a U-shape. The last part of the system is a retaining bar that when locked completes a D-shape. These locks go by the Ning U-locks in the US and D-locks in the UK. Going back to a pure security focus, there's no difference between the two styles. More steel will be more secure, and 12 and steel will be more secure than 8 steel. But that alone doesn't dictate a particular style of lock. If you have a U-lock with 12 and shackles and a chain lock with 12 and links, then the security will be the same. One caveat is that on the U-lock side, you'll want to make sure that the retainer bar locks at both sides so that it takes two cuts to open it. Why size matters, there is one more piece of the puzzle that intersects both usability and security. The way you actually lock your bike affects security. If you put the lock close to the ground, it opens up the possibility of using the ground to push against. That could mean a thief is able to stand on a bolt cutter to get more leverage. Along the same lines, the more space between the lock and the bike, the more vulnerable it is. It leaves the lock open to a leverage attack where something like a bar provides leverage to force a lock open. It also makes it easier to use a portable angle grinder without damaging the bike. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.